Today is a uh, chest day. I usually like to start off my uh, work in my chest after uh, I do a warm up on the treadmill, uh, get a little bit of sweat going. I like to start off doing 25 push ups, four sets of 25 push ups to warm up my chest before I start my chest routine. Today uh, we will be working on chest and starting off with with using the cable machine. So a whole routine routine today will be with the cable machine. So first exercise after I start my uh, warming up with the chest and after every cable routine I uh, do, I do another 25 uh, sets of push-ups to, to really burn my chest. Cable press, uh, we're going to push as many as we can go. Use a, a, a weight that's challenging for you and just push out like you're, uh, it's the same exercise using cables as you're bench pressing. push-ups and I will push through it and the, the best part of this you do feel a burn and this is what you want and this is how you get a, a nice chiseled chest so keep it up push as much as you can just focus on this exercise it, it, it is a killer and it is a burner but your chest will change I took my 20 second rest now I'm continue with the exercise, so I'm going to push out as many as possible as I can. You know, if you can try and get to up to 15, it's good and feel the burn. Now I will continue and I will drop down. I'll do uh, right straight to my sit up, my push ups. So I'm really feeling that burn. It's hard for me to get up, but I'm I'm pushing through it. So just push, push through it and feel the burn. And after this, until you can continue, and then you can take. 20 second or 30 second break and continue again with those exercises so just push through focus push Just finishing off my last set of push-ups. After we finish off this last set, we will uh, do the cable lower chest raises. How we start is uh, setting up the handles on a lower pulley. The cable machine stand in between the machine. Grabbing the handles both and keeping our arms at the side. And what we want to do, like my, I have my right, it's my right leg in front. When the weight's a bit heavier. You put your leg up, it's just more or less for balance. So always try to keep uh, one leg in front like that. And what we want to do is slowly bring the handles together. See how it's in front of me, bringing it together in front of my body. And squeeze. So right here, I'm squeezing when I pull up. And I squeeze, and that works my lower chest. Uh, what I'm doing here is more or less today with this workout, I am doing as many sets as possible uh, till I feel the burn. That's what I'm doing. A 
Okay, I will do another four set of these, but in between I will not do uh, any push-ups. Uh, I will take at least 30 second break in between and I'll continue. So you wanna do this and you wanna pull up and make sure you squeeze your chest. Breathe and don't forget to squeeze your chest and always breathe. And if you need a, a bit longer break, take that break. And don't worry about the weight, just use a weight that that's challenging enough for you. So it's not all about lifting the heaviest. It's what's challenging for you and doing the exercise properly. Pull it up to your chest. You work in your lower chest here. This cable machine is a great way to build a nice chisel chest. It's at usually at all your local gyms, but the brand that I am using is a free motion machine. Okay, after I finish uh, these sets of exercises, <clears throat> we're gonna just work on the middle of our chest with the cable. So it's a cable crossover, and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna cross over, and we're gonna keep our legs staggered, and we're gonna burn as many as can as we can. But again, we're not gonna do any push-ups in between, and we'll do four sets of these, and this will be the end of our exercises. Uh, you can 